Hello, my fellow woodsmen and ladies out there. This evening, uh, actually, going to talk a little bit about uh, um, trading, you know, or selling, buying, selling, reselling, whatever you want to call it, man. Yeah, I'm just a old mountain trader that, you know, treasure hunts and buys and sells junk, man. <laughs> But right now, I'm actually out here. I just lit a fire, man. This is my outdoor new K grill. I absolutely love it. Um, good friend of ours, Gregor, got this for us. And I thought when I put it here that I was going to be able to use it during the winter. I did have it covered. But uh, I'm getting ready to burn it all off. I'm going to cook some pork chops on here tonight. But I'm firing it up right now to uh, just burn it, man. I got got to clean it up some. And just from sitting all winter, but it's the first time that we've used it this year. So we're getting right. I'm pretty excited about that. But the one uh, which Miss Kitty actually shipped it, I told her I wanted to uh, film it so I could show it to you in my hand before. But uh, talking about you know junking and treasure hunting and everything. Um, last, I put it on, man, it sold, or it got bid on the same day. First, I had some guy try to offer her to buy it, but I had this, and I'll clip it in right here. But then it's a milk bottle, man, from Wyoming, and four-digit phone number, and, man, I can't remember, 1918, 1913 or something was the date on it. Four digit phone number on it. You know, good, good milk bottle. And that old milk bottle I found digging around, you know, in an old falling down cabin, run down cabin. Um, it was a little bit dirty. I dusted off stuff like that, but I didn't do anything. Didn't take the time to clean it up. Anything. I put it on, um, I think starting big, because I knew it was a good one. And put it on starting bid. I don't even remember what, uh, I ended up getting for it, but starting bid, I think I did $49.95 was the starting bid. The guy tried to offer me $75, bucks, and I didn't mean to leave the make offer because I ran it as an auction. So I declined his, apologized to him for having a make offer that I was going to let it run auction. And it ended up selling for... And it ended up selling for $417.64 shipped. Man, I was pretty dang excited about that. So the, the shipping was like 16 or 17 bucks, but we ended up selling it for 390 bucks. Not too bad. That was a good one. And then I ended up selling, uh, this stuff's already been shipped or I'd show you. I'd, if you watch my videos, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I'm just getting this thing rolling again, man. Um, but a lot of times that I'll do some later on, you know, I'll sit down and do shipped. Uh, it's been, you know, it's been, we haven't really been beating hard on the drum for you know been really focusing on trying to get the gardens and the animals taken care of and everything like that you know of course putting a few things on you know every day and you know selling a few couple things every day but it hasn't been i've been going you really got to put the time in there man and if you lay off you know because i'd go two or three days without listing anything and you definitely see that in your sales but uh everything's getting back on track we're getting stuff rolling again i've been selling a lot of you know, making some good sales, man, because I sold that. And the bottle, the milk bottle was awesome, man. It's 400 bucks for a, you know, just an old milk bottle, man. See, there still is gold in them there heels, man. And it may not be the yellow stuff, but, uh, yeah, I was pretty dang happy about that. And then we just sold a pack board that I picked up from the old boy. Um, oh, dude, been selling quite a bit of a few things. Then I'm going to show you this. I'm going to, uh, it's heavy, man. I gotta see. I'm thinking it's probably about 120 pounds. Um, and then I'll tell you the story. I'm just gonna take this camera off. Old anvil, man. Old Peter Wright anvil. I'm guessing between 120 and 150 pounds. I haven't weighed it yet, but I will. And I'll tell you the story about this. Okay, now the story on the old anvil is, uh, which the first thing is I'll tell you the history of it, which is way cool, is the old anvil, the old boy I got it from, 
I actually talked about a little bit about it. You coming through here, Miss Kitty? Yeah. Um, I think I talked about it on Idaho Hillbilly Channel a little bit and told the history, but the history of it is it actually came from this old, the old boy I got it from. It was his grandpa's, and his uncle had it on a, man, a, uh, I have it written down. I think it's either a fourth or sixth generation farm or ranch south of Lake Lowell, um, outside of Napa, out Lake Lowell, and it was in the barn for years and years, and they were clearing out stuff after somebody had passed away or something, and they asked him, hey, you want that old anvil? Oh yeah, I'd love to have that old anvil. He said he has, he's had it in his shop, he's moved it a few times, and uh, you know, he's just retired from driving truck, just sold his truck and everything, and Anyway, so we go into this old cell. What was the? How many generations? Um, I was it six I or four? It yeah, I know. It's, no, it's okay. Okay. Um. So anyway, man, he's towed it around or whatever. So anyway, and one of the things I want to tell you in the junkie business, reselling business, trader, whatever you want to call it, is you know when you go, you know, you do, I watch these people do this all the time. I'll be at a yard sale, man, and they do like these drive-bys, you know, unless they're looking for just a certain thing. I don't know. But this yard sale, man, nicest people too. I got the anvil and a couple books is all I ended up getting there. And when we pulled up there, they had just sold a hot tub, so there were some people were loading a hot tub, and there was just in the garage was just uh, one, two. I think there was just two, you know, shorter six foot tables. Um, not a ton of stuff. Few tools. Few eyeballs, man, a milk crate of books on the ground, you know, not not a lot at all, man. And a lot of people would just look in there and just, you know, snub it off. But being the treasure hunter that I am, man, I don't care what size the yard sale, it only takes one thing to uh, to make it worth stopping and going through and talking to people, man. You get to visit, man, I get to meet great people, the story and all this. So anyway, so we go in there, and this thing isn't even on the table for sale or nothing. You know, because when I go and see anybody, anybody's place, man, especially when there's old rusty gold and stuff around, man, I'm looking. <laughs> you know, dude, I'm, man, my eyes are wondering. I'm talking to them and looking around, checking things out. You know, and I ask about stuff. Well, so Lamble's sitting back on the bench back behind the two tables that he has for sale. And I'm talking to him stuff, and I looked at him, put some books, you know, and asked him how much you wanted for these books. So I put the books down, you know, sitting there in front of him, and... Okay, I'll take them two books. And I'm like, what about that old anvil back there? You want to sell that anvil? And he's like, oh, you know, I've had a couple other people in here today ask me about that. And I told him to make me an offer. So I was like, is it right if I take a look at it? Sure. So, man, I work my way on around them two tables and get on back there. And I'm looking at it, man, and I see that, you know, it's an old, it's an old anvil. It's dated and everything. And, you know, turn of the century, early, I haven't, actually I can't remember what the, the numbers, I gotta get them all done, but, anyway, freaking, um, you know, it's an oldie, oldie and a goodie. So, man, I wander on back there, and I'm looking at it and stuff, and, you know, he's kind of watching me, and checking the holes, checking everything, it's good, you know, I can see it's a little beat up on the, the horn and everything, and look back up at him, and he looks at me, and I'm all, I'll give you a $100 bill right now, it's sold. I was like, yes, man, man, made my day. So, uh, so I paid him and loaded it up, knowing, you know, that if, if I sell this anvil, I guarantee I'll get three to $500 to this anvil, at least. I have not done any research on it or anything yet. That's just, I know when I bought it, I knew I'd get 300 bucks for it if I wanted to sell it. And I can probably make a couple phone calls and sell it without doing anything, you know, so we'll see what plays out but I just had to share that story don't be afraid to ask man if you see something I go in there all the time yesterday I was trying to buy a, a grizzly bear claw off a guy's neck man I wanted it and I still want it so like, offering him a hundred bucks all the time don't always work <laughs> that's all I got man I'm gonna work on getting this grill cleaned up I just uh, wanted to put something out here we're gonna work on doing this we're gonna be doing some uh some fishing and some rail hunting this week and I'll probably share some of that on here too and you can check out my other channel Idaho Hillbilly and 
Other than that, man, remember to keep your eye on the skyline and your nose to the wind. If you're out there treasure hunting, hope you find some gold in the bottom of your pan. See ya.